Okay, in terms of the, the subtle concept, because my um, sense is that there doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be so scarce that people come to see this. Because a lot of people I talk to say things like, it's usually very clear as, as to what I am, but there's still a tendency to believe in these concepts. There's still a tendency to believe myself to be a separate, limited person. So it's really about seeing it through right now to its end. It's not really an end in time though. It's the end of time, really. So it's a matter of just seeing that I must be subtler than any concept that comes about. So any concept that says, I recognize it now, I see it now, and the next moment could be, well, oh, I lost it a little bit, or I sort of, the, the whole tentative thing, you know, I, I'm pretty clear on my true nature, but I still get confused the odd time. So what is that even? I mean, what's what's making such claims all the time, if not just a little subtle sort of arising in language. It has to be just language, really. And the seeing of what language is, what the actuality of language is, the presence that cognizes all these semantics and all these very subtle and convincing claims about different progress markers and this, that, and the other. And it's just simple. It's such a simplicity about it because all we're really pointing to is the actuality of living right now, the actuality of being alive now is all this is about. And so we don't have to even give credence to any subtle concept in terms of what we are. I mean, a concept will arise that I'm hungry. That's a conceptual translation of, you could say, like a physical experience. And it doesn't matter well, who's hungry, you know, who, oh, I'm, that must mean I'm the body if I'm hungry, you know, that kind of stuff. It's just about seeing the original presence that we are, and then there's no need to exclude the relative living of what we are. So the, the body, the personality, the mind. But knowing what we truly are, you could say, in essence, is the freedom from the confusion of taking ourselves to be, you know, just the body, just these thoughts, just this form, imaginary form. So it doesn't matter how subtle things get, because you can always keep looking, it seems. It seems like I can always keep looking, but I am that looking. So it's not like a an effortful slogging away, it's just the active actuality of the seeingness. It just registers, it just sees that this comes up, this goes away, this comes up, this goes away. And there's no residue, there's no, nothing sticks around because there's nothing besides this presence. So there's, there isn't that sort of conflictual battle going on between sort of me wanting to see this and something else wanting to prevent the seeing of this because even that is just another arising out of the same ocean you could say so anyone can talk about this because all we're sharing is the experience of being what we are and everyone intuitively knows this so we don't have to sell ourselves short for some authority. That's kind of the sense. We don't need to keep buying into other people's perceptions about this. If we can just look directly for ourselves, into ourselves right now, and then there's all that other stuff isn't important really. The concepts that claim things can just be left by the wayside. We don't need them to be what we are. So. I guess the only thing is just really get clear about this now and not trust concepts as a progress marker because 
anything that comes and goes can't ultimately be trustworthy right now. The only trustworthy thing there is would have to be that presence. So that's it. This is it. Anyway, feel free to email or if anyone wants to do a, a Skype meeting or something, then drop me a line.